This is a very inexperienced offensive line. Well, but it's not, played well. They've played very well. And the other part of this is this drive is already over four minutes long. So it's keeping that potent Hawaii offense off the field. Herring pass is complete. The ball is loose. And they're saying it's incomplete. That's close. Wow, that was a late whistle, too. Pass was complete to the tight end, and Aaron Brown. Let's take another look and see how many steps he took. One. Ooh. That's awfully close. And now it's going to be third down, and, and Edwards came up with it. But because it's uh, incomplete, no fumble on the play. And now you look at third down and eight, and uh, Hawaii is going to take a timeout. That's the second timeout they've used in this half. But now you're in a situation where Hawaii either goes for the end zone and tries to get that touchdown, or you've got field position to get a field goal. Cohorst is two for two, and both of them into the wind. This, could, this would potentially make it a, a 30 to 14 game. And yeah, you're looking at two scores with two two point conversions. But really, it's kind of a three score game at that point. Well, and I. I think McMacken wants an explanation of why they're not going to review this. I, I think that he took that time out just for the purpose of talking to the officials to say. Hey, you, you reviewed the one for you and LV in the first half. Can't, can't you do that for me? Because you can't challenge in college. It, it's, it's all done by the officiating crew. And, and I think that's, he just wants an explanation. The whistle blew immediately. You heard that. That was real speed uh, line sound. There's really no delay on that. So there, it's not reviewable. 